Yes, sir. It's your boy, Kyle, the kid, and Mega the boy. And this is Vibe with your boys podcast for Vibes Meet the Culture. Mega, how you living? How you feeling? Shit, chilling, man. You know, had a long day. You know what I'm saying? Was it really a long day? Nah, I just feel like I had to say that right now. Okay, so, you, so you, you pump fake it. You putting on right nah, now. Nah, but I had a good day, though. A good, good productive day. Good productive day. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. important. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. Good productive, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, if y'all watching, you had a good and productive day, too. If you guys haven't already noticed, we joined by Tracy Supreme. What's going on? What's the word, man? I'm in the building. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling. I appreciate chilling, you for joining us, man. No more doubt. Uh, up until this point, I asked everybody this before we get it started. How has your 2023 been so far? Oh, 2020, 2023 been all, it been good to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been good to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it it's a mutual, mutual <laughs> it's connection? Mutual. mutual. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I say, um, so basically, I'm getting out what I'm putting in, for real. Mm-hmm. Um, It's been smooth, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know how I go. Ups and downs, but more ups and downs for sure. That, that that's good to hear. Now, of course, I've seen a lot of things um since I first caught wind wind of you. Probably I wanna say, was it was that twenty twenty one at Such a Greatness at Humble Religion? Mm-hmm. Damn, that was that was that was twenty twenty one. I was just saying like it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> so from then, but I know there's also a backstory to you, so I wanna kinda of, kinda of start there. Originally from where? Where's Tracy originally from? I'm from Miami, Carol City to be exact. Miami, Carol City, that's, yeah, that's sure. where it got to pop in that. And um, of course, you were in the football, so w- when did that start? When did football become a love for you? Since I was a jit, for real. like All the little leagues, everything. Yeah, little league, like shorty, shorty. Like even before little league, like playing on the block. Like mm-hmm. with my cousins and homies, you know what I'm saying? That's why I really found the love for it. For real, for real. Okay, and at that point, like who was... I mean, you said you were playing with your cousin, so did you kind of like start playing because of them, or did somebody else put the ball in your hand? Or? Nah, I stopped playing because of my cousins. Put it up in the- I stopped playing because of my cousins, for sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, honestly, it was like more of like, so basically, I'm from Kara City, you get what I'm saying? But my cousin are from front of the city, what mm-hmm. we call Liberty City, the city. You yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? So them boys from the city, so I used to like be down there like from Friday to Sunday, because the old girl, like when she was young, she had us real young, like 15, mm-hmm. okay. you feel me? She was young, you get what I'm saying? So she, Send out the auntie them crib. You know, yeah, yeah, okay. so my cousin them older than me. So them boys like play football all the time. So like, I just used to go play with them boys. I just fell in love with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically like how I started playing football, like right in front of my auntie crib in the hood. You said you said um your mom had you guys young. Like what number are you? Like where? Oh, I'm on uh, her second child. Second child, okay. I'm my second child, yeah. She had me at um, I think she was 16, 17 when she had me. So, I mean, one thing I kinda like realize when like parents have their kids young it's kind of like they're growing up with their kids yeah, so it's like yeah. they're learning stuff and they also have to teach you and yeah, then you, sure. you learning so like how was that or like when did you realize that like my mom is young too like my mom's not like other moms like um honestly like i didn't really realize it like i knew my mama was young because i used to see people just asking my old girl age hey, you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. but like, you know, that was my mom at the end of the day. Like, exactly. you know, she was real mature, real responsible. Like, mm. she wasn't one of them young moms that was, you get what I'm saying? She was like, then I had my, my dad was, my biological dad, I grew up with my real dad. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Okay. So, like, and my dad older than my mom, you get what I'm saying? So, it was like, it wasn't like my mama young. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? That's my mama. You never, you never felt, yeah, yeah I ain't felt like yeah, she was yeah, young. Yeah. I felt like, mm-hmm. she, when I asked for money, she give me the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's real. <laughs> like, that's you grow to me. <laughs> Another thing that probably, you know, helped out, because I know a lot of times it's like a, a disconnect between, like, parents, especially, you know, parents that may be from, like, the islands or whatever. She may have, like, understood things better. Mm-hmm. Was that was that the case or what? Well, like, say, say it again. Say it like, one more time. I know a lot of times it's a, dis- a disconnect between, like, parents and kids, or especially if the parents are from the island, they don't understand certain yeah, things. Yeah, but for sure. In your situation, she, did she understand things better, like, as far as, like, you pe- kids your age as you was coming up with it into, or was it kind of like still a misunderstanding a lot of the times? Nah, it wasn't no misunderstanding at all. You get what I'm saying? Like, my mama, them, they was in tune. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly, like, yeah, exactly. They was in tune. You know, my mama kind of, she young, but she ain't no jit. Like, she wasn't like trying to hang with my friends mm-hmm. or trying to act like a child. Nah, she was my mom. Now, we close for sure. That's like my best friend, but she still was like mom first, mm-hmm. homie after. You get what I'm saying? But um, nah, I want her. My mama won't beat though. Like, my mama know what's going on. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but my mama, like, was like a sweetheart though. She, like, I don't know, man. I, it's, hard, it's hard to explain my old girl, but she, she, de- my mama and daddy definitely was on beat. My old boy passed, you get know what I'm saying? This is mm-hmm. right here. He passed oh, okay. in 2019, but 
Yeah, they was on beat though. There wasn't no disconnect. We not island. We super American. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. It was a super, super American. American. <laughs> yeah, super American. Like on both sides. When I say super American, you know, like island people, they different. They got that culture. They got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say super American, I don't feel like American got America got culture. Culture. Like, them island people got culture. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh-huh. The food, the going to putting them costumes on it, dancing. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. different. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't island. And I know that, and I can tell you it's different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see, I appreciate that because when you talk to like Americans or you know sometimes down here we call them like Yanks or whatever. Yeah. They act like they don't know what we're talking about. It's not to say like you guys have culture, but it's just different. Like it ain't nothing on y'all. We don't got nothing it's, it's on y'all. Different. It's just different. Even y'all morals. Yeah. It's like it's like y'all keep y'all morals. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Really, like really. it's like like you when y'all pass come it down country, generations. Yeah. It's like y'all got that still moral compass. Like yeah. all Jamaicans I know, especially girls, they like got a moral compass. Like I ain't saying they perfect. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But they just got they stand on a type of code and a moral principle. Yeah. Americans. Yeah, I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, it's liable to get somebody with morals or somebody that don't give a fuck about nothing. You, you don't know what it's like. Go, go in the bag. Yeah, you get out of hat. You hear me? Yeah, for real. For real. For real. And that thing, too, is like, you probably wasn't able to like really run too many games on mom. Like, you know how sometimes you could kind of like sneak around and stuff like that. Trying to finesse. Your parents look naive, but she probably was like hip to it or... I mean, like, as in what, though? Like, you know... <laughs> Cause I'm definitely was a finesse. Okay, okay. Like you I want a finesse, but see, this is the thing. Mm-hmm. My mama, my, like, let me see how to say. Me and my old girl relationship is real tight. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, when I say it's real tight, I can say I slightly took advantage of that sometimes. Yeah. Like, I knew my mama knew I couldn't do no wrong. Like, I could call a teacher. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. girl, my son ain't do that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I ain't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. That? And she really believed me. She took advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you feel me? But it's like, um. Nah, I mean, you know, you know, they older, so I definitely couldn't get away with a lot of stuff. But I, I tried, yeah, you know, yeah. definitely tried. But honestly, I, I, I wasn't really like no bad ass jit though. Yeah. I was more like trying to fuck with the hoes in the neighborhood. Only thing I used to do bad, kind of, was like, like the influences in the neighborhood that you can't get away from. You get what I'm saying? Like it's guns exactly. around the neighborhood, it's dope around the neighborhood. Yeah, like you gonna get your hands on it just some way, somehow, just uh-huh. by being outside, being with your homies. You just gonna run into it. Yeah, it's just inevitable. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's still Carroll City. It's still Miami. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you feel me? Like I, like I tell my mom, I'm like, mom, like, like y'all raised us right. Like we had, like I we ain't had nothing to worry about. But it's almost I called it like I had like structure in a jungle. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in the household, it was like I had a I had a loving household. It wasn't no struggle. It wasn't no we don't know what we gonna eat. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But well, yeah, when I outside, you in the jungle. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. for real out here. Like you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like I got homie getting killed. I got they. You feel they sell it up over there. Woody, we hear shots like, mm-hmm. and I'm not saying it's the worst. You get what I'm saying, but at the same time, it's just like, like I knew like the difference between like my when I walk in that house and when I walk outside. Like you could feel the difference. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying, and like being in the house with my mama and, and old boy, like just taking what they it, like it like helped me when I go outside. Yeah. Like I knew how to maneuver. Like I knew who to like what to do and what not to do. You get what I'm saying mm-hmm. for the most part. So now going back to football, when did you realize that like? You was like that. Like, you kind of, like, was, like, really good at football. I mean, honestly, I knew since I, like, I knew since I was, like, a jit. You get what I'm saying? Like, I knew since I was, like, a kid, kid. Mm-hmm. Like, I like I never would, like, lack, like, lack confidence because I knew I was always good. You get what I'm saying? But, like, when I knew, knew I was real, real good, it was probably, like, Shit, it's probably like an optimist. Probably like when I got like one tens, one thirty five. Oh, so actually, yeah, that's early. That's when I knew I was kind of like more advanced than everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, but my but we had a stacked team though. You got to pick your number and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you feel me? I get any number I want. Yeah. But it was like, but everybody like we had a lot of people that was good on the team. But that's when I knew like, all right, boy, you nice. Like you could really mm-hmm. do something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sure. Now transitioning from like middle school to high school, like were you like a jock jock? Like you know, like there's a perception as far as like jocks like. When they know, especially at a high level, it's like, I ain't got to worry about this. Uh, they go, teachers going to look out they, for they me and stuff like me. that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How, is, um, how is that for you? I got more of a job, like, as I got, like, from, like, my senior year. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but I was never, like, a, a job that was, like, arrogant. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Or, like, not humble. Like, I've always been humble. I've always been, like, grounded. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That just come from my upbringing. But like um, but definitely like it's definitely time I'm not I'm not going to class. <laughs> like I earned that right. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I going to class. I'm going to my coach office. I'm chilling here all day. Yeah, Especially yeah. if it's a Friday, we got a game. Mm-hmm. I used to really walk in class, my boy. Like this is the bare ring. <laughs> Go to class. I walk in the class, show my face, 
All right, I'm gonna holler at you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, see you at the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, but it's all love though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cause get what I probably not, I probably not like did my work in advance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like I ain't going. Like, oh, I, ain't, I just I ain't feel like I'm too good. No, I wasn't like that. Nah, it wasn't like that. But it was definitely I wasn't going to class. My saying, yeah, I was definitely taking advantage of them perks. You get what I'm saying for sure. Uh, your best high school game. Ooh. And and did you played corner? I played corner. Was that was that the only position you played in no, high school? I played receiver too. Okay. Like I played receiver like okay. if we was losing, like it was real crunch time. Uh-huh. Like I'm gonna go to receiver, like, hey coach, I'm going to receive yeah. for sure. Like we had one of them teams. Okay. Like I was the gangster. Like, hey, yeah. coach, I'm going to receiver. Take one of them boys out. Come on, y'all, come on, my boy. <laughs> like one of those. Like, you, you, you don't know, know you ain't trying to have a business anyway. Let me let Yeah, me not even that. like that, because you know I was like I was like one of the most talented. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like if it was Playmaker. fun time, yeah, it was mm-hmm. different. But I played Kona though for the most part. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so what what was one of your best high school games or the best high school game? <clears throat> one of my best high school games, my boy. Oh my multiple God. TDs, multiple picks, mm, game when they play. I probably say well, we played against um it, it's a bunch of them, but I say um probably like St. Thomas. Mm. We played against St. Thomas at St. Thomas. Tough. I had a great game. We beat them like we blocked the field goal for the win. Mm. I ain't even block it. Junior blocked it. They gave me the credit for it, but I ain't block it. <laughs> you you still that credit. No, nah, I ain't still it like the it. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But you know, I always cleared it up. You get what I'm yeah. saying? But you know, it was like I was all world. So like yeah. for them to say, oh, Tracy blocked it, it just sound good it in the paper. Better, yeah. So I'm sure that's what they did, but really I ain't do that. Mm-hmm. It looked like I did it though. <laughs> like you watch the film, it looked like yeah, I blocked yeah, it, but I ain't, it wasn't me. Yeah. Um I was a lot of games, man. Um Then we we played we played Palm Beach Guards one time. I like I took a punt return back, I had a pick. I don't know, a bunch of games. State game, I had a good game, but we lost that game. I don't know, man. It was, it was, High school was like you, playing against kids sometimes. It was it was that easy for you sometimes. Like my senior year was that easy. I can say that. I could be honest Jeez. with you and say it was that easy. You like, you, you mentioned you was all world. How was it when you first got that ranking that you was a five star? Um, like I, I let me see how to say it. It's almost like it's almost like that's why I, I already knew that. Yeah, and yeah, not yeah, being yeah. arrogant. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. I work and I put in that work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I seen the people who was five stars. Mm-hmm. Like no disrespect to them. I th- I, th- I think a lot of people was good. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I think some people was even more talented than me for sure. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like when it came to like that game, like the game of football, yeah. like no how fast you j- run and jump, like playing ball. Playing, yeah, I, can like, I, I, too, I yeah. always knew like I was advanced. So like mm-hmm. when I got that field start, I was definitely happy because I wanted it. But it wasn't like I was like crazy happy. It, it wasn't confirmation for yeah, you. Yeah, confirmation. Yeah. No, like like for example, like let's say say if um. I, I I go blow up, when I blow a super big and rap mm-hmm. and I make double S L. You make double S L. Like I'm gonna be grateful, thankful, yeah. saying, like, thank God for it. I'm gonna be very humble about yeah. it. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna always know like I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. Like I feel like that in my heart. Justify like, you, yeah. you, you talking about talent wise and, and you trying to put everything together in the blender. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be here. Like, mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Now, now, just talking about it at the high school level, and you played at the highest level you can play at. Yeah. When people talk, you know, people in school or whatever talk about like high school athletes, be like, "Yeah, I could do this or I could do that or whatever." But people be like, "You don't know what type of work it takes to be able to make the team and yeah. do this and play good." But then you talk about at a different level when you we're talking about five star ranking. Yeah, what is the, how much of it is naturally gifted and how much of it is it's like work. work ethic? Like, cause you Being said. A yeah, like, yeah, playing at that um, level. So let me tell you, like, you know, another thing, too, I learned, like, you can't really get caught up on stars, you get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you could be a five-star and not really be a five-star. Because you, know you go to certain camps and everything. And I mean, not nah, because, you know, it's some, some of the political, you get what I'm saying? Like, the like, some, you like at. it's three stars that's really five-stars. There's people mm-hmm. that got no stars that's five-stars. Yeah. Like, and I'm not saying this because, like, I'm being cliche. I'm saying it because it's real. Like, it's people on my team that had no stars, no I boys. Mean, yeah. I ain't never even made, I know people that ain't making it to the league, and I got to the league, and I'm like, boy. Mm-hmm. And I go back home like, boy, in my head, I'm like, y'all boys would have been in the league. But you know, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. Mm-hmm. It just ain't enough people. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's only 32 teams, and it's only 63 people could be on the team. Mm-hmm. 32. And you 63 times 32. Listen, man, man, that, that's the number right there. That's it, yeah. But it's a gazillion athlete, though. That's actually good. Mm-hmm. But it's just a numbers game. So that shit going to be boiled down to do your ass stay out of trouble. Mm-hmm. Do your ass know how to take coaching. Character. So it's way past characters, just way game. past talented. Yeah, yeah, talent yeah. sometimes. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But at the same time, like the work though, like that you had to put in, like oh yeah, work. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like the work, the, it's all you gotta eat, sleep, and breathe it. 
is it really has to be that. Yeah, like don't get me wrong. Like when I say now, some five stars actually is five, five stars. stars yeah. And don't get me wrong, I could I could tell I I would say I would say I say fifty percent. I say fifty sixty percent of talent for sure. Because I mean I could I could tell you like I could I could be honest with you right now. I tell you like a lot of the stuff in the game of football I was born with. Like yeah, I had to polish it and work on the wood, but like I was born with it. Like I was born with an IQ of knowing how to catch. Like, I never was taught how to catch. Mm, I was yeah. never. I was taught like how to slide and move people and how to probably like how to prop. But I, I wasn't taught. I, was, I was, nobody didn't teach me how to be aggressive. Nobody didn't teach me how to really want it. I, mm. That that came from me. Yeah. Now, now you talking about like that technique and probably getting faster, getting stronger. I had to work on that or like working on like my knowledge of the game. But like talent wise, that shit was like God given, and I knew. And then I, I really learned that in college. When I learned, like, boy, niggas way talented than your ass. Mm. Like, when I got to call it, boy, that nigga bigger than you, faster than you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Now, I go what? Now, I'm about to be smarter than you. Yeah, yeah, Because that's what I knew. That, that was my edge. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I want to make sure that I got to be smart. Because, like, you feel me? Look at me. I stand up. I'm 5'11". You get what I'm saying? Like, barely. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm probably 189, 190 on a good day. So I wasn't the biggest. You get what I'm saying? And so, then six two, two fifteen, and yeah. play the same position. Yeah, I play. yeah, yeah. Running. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't know, man. A lot of that, a lot of that shit, like talent. Oh. A lot of people, God got God given talent, but it's like once you put that talent with that real work ethic, that shit, you got this world. You know what I'm saying? Now, college, UM, stay, stayed home. How before you go there? How was your recruitment process like? Like, what was some schools oh. saw UM? I know you, that's home yeah, team. Yeah, my recruit. Pro- uh, I was originally gonna go to Florida. Mm. Like I was locked in. I was gonna go to Florida. So you was, was always gonna stay in Florida. You was never gonna like think about leaving. No, I thought about leaving. Yeah, I thought I thought about going to LSU. I thought about going to USC, but I was like, when I went on my visit, I'm like, that shit too far. Well, they would have hated you. You, yeah. you. you leave the crib. You know, they already, they be tripping on everybody that <laughs> yeah, leave the crib. Yeah, they leave the crib. Yeah, they'll trip for like a couple months, but then they'll, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, forget about you. Know right. what I'm, I'm on a whole other team. I ain't worried about me no <laughs> You get what I'm saying? But um, the recruitment process, I would say I handled it very well. You get what I'm saying? Because I was like focused on like winning the state. Like when I, I went to Miramar, when I was at Miramar, we were, when I was, I was at Miramar at a time where it was like the culture was real good. We was winning. Mm-hmm. Every year we like Gino had just left Stead them boys mm. like we had it with the state my sophomore year and won mm. my junior year we didn't think with the third round of we went to state again my senior so we had an atmosphere of like winning Winning. Yeah. so it was more like I knew I was going to school like I wasn't tripping on no school like I ain't even have to think about the recruitment process now nah. after that state game that's when I really started thinking yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay let me think about it but that's where I kind of messed up because it like was overwhelming to me like, I got real overwhelming to yeah, me yeah, like, yeah, I know, yeah. to the point where I'm just like. Like frustrated, like mm-hmm. damn, what am I do? You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I don't. I went to Miami mainly because my old boy was sick. You get what I'm saying? Got you. Want to stay? Okay, yeah, my stay old close. boy was sick. You feel me? So like, that's the main reason I went to Miami. Like my old boy wasn't really sick. I want to went to that shit. Now, understanding why you made that decision, if you had to do it again, would you still have went to UM? Like, would you think that was the best program for you? Do I think that was the best program for me? Yeah. Uh, definitely not. You know, I don't think it was the best program for me. Nah. But I think it was a good program for me. Like, I learned a lot. You get what I'm saying? I you, built a lot of relationships. You, and it's you, the career. You, you know what I'm saying? You did it like, again. Yeah, like, I made it work. I definitely would have did it again. But mm-hmm. if I would have would did it again, my old boy was sick. And, like, what I know what I know now, of course not. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Now, I love you. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, for yeah, sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, like as far as school-wise, but, like, you know, Miami, it's, 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 it's Miami. Like, it's not a college town. I only wanted that college feel, that atmosphere. Like, you going somewhere like... Bama or Bama, yeah, yeah, or yeah. you get what I'm saying, or um, somewhere like Wisconsin, like you know, it's that real college. college sound, yeah. Only that's the only the school that's the only thing go here. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. They like, constantly talking about you guys on TV and everything. Like, like, yeah. like everything shut down when it's game yeah. time. Yeah. Miami, everything it's open. Not, <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah. not that important. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, mm-hmm. which is cool. And then again, like you know what I'm saying, like I ain't had a best relationship with my coaches. You get what I'm saying, like we ain't really like it was a lot of time we weren't on the same page. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying, and a lot of that shit, you feel me on me. I won't even blame them boys. As a grown man, I look back on that shit. Like, you able to look back and see. Me. Yeah, a lot of that shit was on me. You feel me? Just like my attitude at the time. Like I had to mature a lot. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like I had to like mature. Like I wasn't like mature enough at a certain time, especially when I first got there. Like I wasn't really mature enough. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like, as far as like. But then again, I ain't really respect them like that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the atmosphere we come from in football down here, you know that shit more like. Our coaches be almost like a father to you. Yeah. Even if I had an old boy, and I could tell you, like all the coaches I had, the boy was like father figures. And when I got to college, it was just like it was like a culture shock. And like I ain't adjust as well as I should. You know, I wasn't like ready for that. Okay, you get what I'm saying. Who was the head coach that you on, on your freshman year? At UM? Yeah. Al Gold. He was. He was. He was. I was just thinking, yeah, Al Gold. Shout out to Al Gold. That's my boy. 
Oh, there I go. No hard fella. You know I love you, know I love you Al. My boy, Al. Yeah. Now, now, fast forward. Going into junior year and everything, and then combines and everything like that going through. Yeah. How was that process like? Was that like, were you ready for that? Combines and everything like that? Yeah, I, I was over ready. I was over ready. You just ready to go to the next level? Over ready. Over ready. Like, I was ready. Like, you know, like, this what we, this what we yeah, dream, dream of. Like, yeah, 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 hell yeah. Like, 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 you, boy, when I line up on that 40, like, line, you know what I told myself? I'm like, boy, let's, <laughs> hold on, let's, your ass better run fast. Your ass is going back to the hood. <laughs> <laughs> what you ran? What you ran? What 40 you ran? Oh, I ran 4-4 at Pro Day. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I ran 4-4 at Pro Day. But I really want no 4 four guy. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm more like four five guy. You feel me? I'll get you out of the But that speech you told yourself. That speech you <laughs> nah, told yourself. Was like, you know, we had like four four months of training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Got, working got, on little yeah, techniques. Yeah. Oh, you got four months working on yeah. straight running. That, that straight 40. Get, get, get so, yeah. you know, I was able to like get my, It was I was focused. There was no school. I was focused on football. Like, mm. I was getting eight hours of sleep every day. I was like, had a band that monitored my sleep. So, when I go in, they checking your band. Like, all right, Tracy. You need eight hours and thirty minutes because this is what your body takes. So I know, yeah, and you can't cheat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm getting my rest. I'm, I'm on a meal plan. I never been on a meal plan like a real meal plan. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, like yeah. coaches giving us boxes of pizza to you and Chick-fil-A. <laughs> no, real meal plan. We had the assignment and eating clean. Yeah, asparagus and shit. Yeah, I'm learning about beet juice. And yeah, 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 you get, yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning about flexibility specialists. And mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like they work on acupuncture. I'm learning like cryotherapy. Like. I want so you know, I'm, uh, it's different. Yeah, all that for that millisecond. <laughs> <laughs> for that, just for the like, I, like I wish yeah. I knew that in college. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying, like or like high school, like I would have had a jump. But you know, you know, you know, when you post it. Yeah. So now, at what point you you get to the league, and then everything is different. At what point did it come to the point to where it's like football? I've taken it as far as I can go. Um, when I um, when I messed my pelvis up, I, I say I knew I took it as far as I could go when I was with the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. When I was with the Dolphins, I got hurt, and I messed my pelvis up. Like I kind of knew, like just like being in the league, like I was like going to my third year. So like being in the league is almost like you kind of know how it go. Like you know when you first get that, you you like it's like getting high school for the first time. You yeah, don't know yeah, the you ways of the land. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. And once you become a sophomore, or junior, you know, wow, I got this in the back of my hand. I know exactly what's going on. First day of school, I know how I go. I know where to be, where to go. Mm-hmm. I know what class, how to read the schedule. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I knew the ins and outs. So it's like, like my situation I was in, it was like I was undrafted. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was gonna be always one of them guys that got to really fight. No disrespect to the people that drafted or went first round or. Ooh, but, it's but it's different. Like, it's a different, yeah, it's different. Like, like they got way more opportunities to mess up. Like when you undrafted, you have no you have room no for room. error. Like literally no room for error. You can't give up a touchdown and think you about to make the team. You know, you go first round, you give up ten touchdowns. That they gave you millions of dollars. We gotta make this work. We gotta make this work. Yeah. Like it don't matter what you do in the preseason. You could, you could mess up. We gotta get it up out you. Mm-hmm. But you know, you undrafted is different. So you know what I'm saying? It was like, I don't know. I I, I kind of knew. I, I kind of knew once I got hurt because it's like, all right, I got hurt. I gotta have surgery. You get what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be there for for. I'm not gonna be there for spring or like OTA. Mm-hmm. So it's like, in my position, when I'm in, like you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't no. I ain't Odell, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like, like where you at on the team, like like your stake in the team, yeah. like you know, y'all ain't pay me millions and fifty million, you get what I'm saying? So it's like next man up type shit. I kind of already knew, like boy, yeah. your ass, your ass to that boy over with. How this shit go? This shit a recycling bin. Mm-hmm. Your ass gonna get lost in the soft. You get what I'm saying? But shit, I want to triple that shit. That's why you save your money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. That's for real sure. now. But so now making that transition, at what point? I feel like music kind of came in before all that, though, correct? Or was it, when, when did music come in? At what point of your football career? Nah, you know, see, music came in, it, like, I've been doing music since I was a kid. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, since I was legit, but I was doing it more on a writing rap, so I might be in a studio playing, but I won't make a song, for mm-hmm. real. I make a song, and, like, it never just drop, you mm-hmm. know, just on my phone to the homies. Or, but I thought really taking it serious, I thought I stopped playing football, because I had time then. Like, I wasn't even thinking about doing no music. That shit wasn't even on my mind. It wasn't even either. I think I'm going to play for 20 years and be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. Yeah. I think Sanders, I, that was the plan. Deion Sanders. Yeah, like Deion Rod Wilson vibes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Troy Palomalu vibes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to play for 15 years. That boy was thinking about his speech in Canton. Like, for real, for real. Like, yeah. that was the goal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that shit definitely ain't go as planned, but shit, I ain't going to lie. I, I, you got to pivot I, sometimes. Shit, I love how it's going out of. 
how was that transition though from playing football damn near every day of mm-hmm. your life since you were jet? Yeah. So after points like damn, well, now nah, I gotta figure out something else like what I'm gonna do now. Was it a hard transition? I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. People asking it all the time and it wasn't hard. Mm-hmm. The hardest part to me was when I had got released from Jacksonville mm-hmm. and like I had to sit out like during the season. And, like I ain't know like nobody wanna call me at first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was the hardest part. But like you gotta think, like that shit almost like going through a breakup. Mm-hmm. It's like once you go through this breakup, this will never happen to me again. Even if I do have another breakup, it would never be like this one because yeah, I'm already yeah, prepared. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. not saying like, oh, I ain't gonna love no more, but like, I, I kind of got a guard up in a certain area where I know, like, you feel me? This shit can't hurt me no more. If I get cut again, it don't matter. I yeah. got cut before. It ain't, I ain't new to this shit. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, my last time getting released, that shit was like, like, I was prepared. You get what I'm saying? Like, I knew the ways of the land at that point. Like, I, I, like, I know when I'm about to get cut. Like, mm-hmm. before y'all cut me, I know I'm about to get cut. Like, if it's woo, or they gonna cut me in three weeks, because I know. Oh, this the numbers right here? They got this many woo 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 woo. All right, I'm hurt. He got drafted, he got drafted, he got drafted. They uh, pay him 50 mil. I'm not, All right, it's only five slots. Yeah. Listen, yeah, there ain't no room for you. See, a lot of players don't know that when they first come in. Like, I know how to do that. Like, I can tell you what receiver they finna cut. I can see how you playing. I can see who got drafted, who on the team already. So, if they don't trade somebody, your ass ain't got no spot. Yeah, yeah, you're all there. ain't no out. room for you. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like, that's how the league goes. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you first started to take music serious and drop music, how was the reception from people that you knew or people that caught wind of you through social media? Like, Tracy, he a football player. Like, yeah. like what are you doing? Like, what's going on? And like, how did they receive it? I ain't gonna fly, my boy. You over know crazy? I, 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 I was like thinking about that shit. Like, damn, how do how people go take that? Shit? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought about that. Like, before I, be, especially like before I dropped my first little snippet. But man, them people act like I always rap. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I think mainly because that shit authentic. You get what I'm saying? It ain't like, and I always been rapping. So, like, to the people that actually know me, mm-hmm. like, that been rapping me, like, my football homies or mm-hmm. people from my hood, you get what I'm saying? Like, them boys know, like, I'll be on a block freestyling for four hours. I'll be in a locker room freestyling. Me, Major, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Chad, like, yeah, I'm yeah, talking, yeah, we, like, like, we got videos that we in college with our jerseys on, reported like, I'm beating on the table, he rapping. So, mm-hmm. it was like, like, they already knew what time I was. it was with me, but it's like, I never did it publicly. So once I did do it, it's like the people that was around me already knew what time it was. But it's like other people. But I think like, honestly, I think like good music is good music. For sure. So like, I feel like if it was bad, it would have been like more like, it would have been like easy to be like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But like that shit was like, you favorite shit was vibing. So it's like, people thought taking it as I kept going, I just get better and better and better and better. So now that shit almost like I forget I did football before. Who were, yeah. who were some of um, your major music influences coming up? Oh shit, Wayne for sure. Wayne, Wayne was like number one. J. Cole was like how uh, G. Herbo. Um, I will put Mozzie in there, but I I, I, I got on I got on the Mozzie like when I was like man. older, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But like he stuck with me. He got one of them yeah. artists. But I say Cole, Wayne. I will say T.I., but not really. Just an album, like that Urban Legend album. Urban Legend, that was one of them young albums that stuck with me. The Hot Boys for sure. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Um, and like a lot of R&B, like all R&B, Usher, gotcha. Kells, Mr. Biggs. Avant, mm-hmm. even the women, like, just my mama just had that shit playing Man, all the time. time. You know Is that mean? kind of why, like, you like to play with melodies and stuff like that? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. I, I, I think that's where it come from. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know. I can't tell you where it come from. Like, it's just something you just try one day and be like, I kind of like it. Ain't, and I ain't really, I, yeah, like, not really I try. Like, that's what really, like, come out of me. Like, when I, when I hear beats, like, like, without me tr- trying to have, like, an influence from another person musically, like, what come out of me naturally, that's what I, that's what I go with. Like, mm-hmm. I try, to, I try my, like, I try, like, not to get influenced by other people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Only thing I'll probably get influenced by is beat patterns. Gotcha. Okay. Beat patterns or structure mm-hmm. of a song. Like, structure of the song, like, tempos and shit like that. But, like, as far as, like, flows and patterns, like... Try to keep it... Like, I, I feel like if you listen to... If you listen to... You, if you could never be like, oh, he sound like this. He sound like him. Like, nah, this shit sound like me a thousand percent. Now, uh... Like I said, when I first caught one of you in 2021 and I started to go through the music, I definitely loved what I hear, heard. And then over time, as we see here today, there's three songs specifically I want to talk about. Yeah, well done. <laughs> now, I can tell you the first one. We're going we go, we go, we go to touch that last. Can't yeah. come today. That's yeah, yeah. the one that's going off right now. That's yeah, going crazy. Yeah, well done. But it's two ones that, that, that stuck with me. I'll be like, I've, I've always heard good music from you, but those two is like, no, nah, he for real yeah, about this shit. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's A to Z. Yeah. And at your neck. Yeah. Now, 
Man, was those real names in AZ, man? <laughs> nah, no, hell, man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That was, that, was, that, was, that was probably the only sign that I ever fabricated. Like, you know, it was one of those. It was an exercise type of thing. Yeah, one yeah, of those, yeah. like, being like Wayne, my alphabet. This yeah, is, like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a real influence by Wayne. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I was in the stool, like, I think I said the first line, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to just go through. I'm going to just go through the alphabet. alphabet. So, yeah. we in the stool. We probably in the stool, like. 12 deep. I'm like, give me that, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. That was, that was a real, that was one of my best sessions. I like, memorable sessions. Like, it was fun. Like, it was, it was fun. Everybody in a rap. It sounded like it was fun. Everybody giving me names. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like hey, say, say, say this. Yeah, you know, yeah, I said yeah, no more. Yeah. Like, give me your names and yeah. shit like that. So, that shit was dope. Yeah. Um, at y'all neck. Well, I, no, no, before we, before we go to at y'all neck now, um, the reception of A to Z, because I know, even though the names is like made up, I know there had to be a few names that no, 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 no. people that you actually knew. You no, know, and definitely real in a sense, like, but I'm just saying using real names, you know what I'm saying? Or, or like, all that shit ain't real. Like, oh, I don't have anybody out of Texas trying to fly out, she better take a road trip. No, like, no, no, no. I, I, yeah, I, I get that, but it's saying like, uh, you just said a name, like, they threw you a name, you use a name, and somebody you actually may know with that same name be like, oh, that's about me? Like, no, nah, not really. It's not oh, about yeah, nah, like, you're like, like, look, like, now, some of them names is like people are actually hollering at, but I ain't said for that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I ain't said, like, Ashley fuck me good and she consistent with the head living. Like, I really used to holler at Ashley. Like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But, like, and Ashley love that part. But at the same time, I ain't talking about <laughs> you. Not about you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But, but, I, but go, I'm talking about you then. I'm yeah, talking about you. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about you then. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. For sure. Now, is there any particular name that you said that represents a woman? <laughs> That you would most likely envision, like as you could like fuck with, because you know you mentioned with certain names, fun. She bought her money, or some of them like she want to mess with the gang and stuff like that. Yeah. But is there a particular name that you mentioned <clears throat> that like this is the best attribute that I would like to have my girl to have? I don't even know. I gotta go through the song, man. Yeah. I said so much shit, so many days. Let me see. <laughs> Ready to share G, but she be in our fellas. Okay, you good. Yeah, like, like, keep like I like a girl that's a G, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I like her to have, like, G wave. When I say G wave, like, as far as, like, having morals. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Gangster don't mean, like, uh, yeah, 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 like, exactly. she gangster, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, she know how to cater. You know what I'm saying? She know how to, she know how to, like, um, she know how to compliment me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's and, appropriate. Like, she knows when it's this time, you know when it's that time. She you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she, what, what I said, what I said again? Like, but she be in her feelings. Yeah. But she be in her feelings. You know what I'm saying? She got to be in her feelings, man. Yeah. If she ain't in her feelings, like, yeah, you my boy, tough. you ain't the one like that. Yeah, yeah. You like, you yeah. need to be in your feelings. You get what I'm saying? About yeah. little stuff, for sure. Like, yeah. I ain't finna drag you through the mud, for sure not. Mm-hmm. But but you and she a Gino. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yo. That's right real. There. Now, at y'all neck, that's kind of like, seems to me like a 50 Cent How to Rob type of inspiration. Yeah. Like, yeah, that definitely. mindset? That was, yeah, that, that like. That's so all right. So originally, mm-hmm. the, like the original, <laughs> no, no, so no the way. original at y'all yeah. neck, I was like this and yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's a, it's a, it's an original version. It's an original version. Oh, it would, shit. It would, you didn't ever hear that. Like the original <laughs> version, like some people told me, hell no, nah, but yeah, yeah, not yeah. drop that shit. Like they telling me don't drop it because I mean, like I was dissing, but it was more funny and playing around. But yeah. like today time, like but, like motherfucker had to sit me down and like first somebody in the industry that's big, they had to sit me down and tell me like, all right, look, I get what you're doing, but like you gotta think like. People got fan bases and like people yeah, is ignorant. Yeah, they yeah. ignorant. They don't, they don't like nowadays. They don't look at it as music and like it's a different culture. Shit, even when Fifty did it, they ain't look at yeah, it as music. Niggas yeah. was really mad about that. Yeah, niggas was mad, but niggas weren't mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Them niggas understood. Like now, nah, I feel like niggas ain't understanding. Yeah, it's like, not understanding like, at all. No understanding. Like yeah, I said what? Yeah. Are like, you talking about you finna rob what? Like it's different nowadays. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. At first, I was like, when they first, I'm like, I don't give no fuck about what them niggas talking about. Well, look, tell them how they feel. You get what I'm saying? I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Like, but yeah. then, then, then I had to be professional and like be yeah, a businessman. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right, put your pride to the side and really think. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, I can still do it, but I can do it in a better way. I can okay. do it in a clever way where I'm like, not dissing people, but I'm using their names as in, I can, now I can show you how creative I am. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, but that's what that shit was about. I mean, honestly, that, that, at y'all neck was, I call it at y'all neck. Cause it's really like I'm showing them like I ain't I'm just this I'm different like yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I could really put bars and cadence together. and metaphors together like easily like yeah. you know what I'm saying like I could do that I could go this way I could go that way like it ain't nothing I could do it ain't mm-hmm. nothing I can't do with the rap like I can give you some bars mm-hmm. you can, I could freestyle I could freestyle go to a challenge and freestyle I could freestyle off the top I could sing I could make a song about girls I could go A through Z with it I could go I could go a pain song kind of day where it's a mm-hmm. real life situation where I feel like somebody abusing my yeah, yeah, my yeah. my kindness, you know, so I could turn it into a song. I could go anywhere with it. Like all this shit is 
real. Like, yeah. like can't come today. Ain't no. I feel like no. It's for real. Like, yeah. like yes, plan. All right, I'm gonna make a song. Yes, I'll make a song about this shit. You get what I'm saying? Cause I know other people can relate to it. Yeah, and, and then you start the song off by saying, "I'm trying to bring some competition to this shit." Like, I bring some competition to this shit. Like, you get what I'm saying? Now, like, even though you watered it down and you did it in a more clever way, from what you know, was anybody still kind of mad a little bit? I no? mean, shit. Not that I know. Of. Like, shit. I mean. I'll probably say only thing I said that was kind of like, I feel like somebody could have been mad. My boy Ray. You go, but Ray know I love him. You know what I'm saying? I say, I say, um, what I say? Or oh, and oh yeah, I say, I say, um, I know you got a man. Nephew yeah. told me you can say you know how to dance, but I, I know her man. Yeah. Like that's why I, I don't know him personally. Like, but, yeah, but I be know. seeing him, I run into him, and I always greet him. Like, what's up, my boy? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It ain't no disrespect. I see all y'all greet. Oh, what's up? What's up? It's like it ain't never no disrespect. Mm-hmm. I seen him after that. In my head, I'm thinking like he could possibly woo woo, but like. It wasn't yeah. that, yeah. It wasn't that. You feel me? Like, you know, you feel me? I, 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 like, I never come, like, you feel me? If, if you if you approach me in a fucked up manner, you feel me? You fucked up. Yeah. Because I always the come energy, with yeah, love. Yeah, My energy, exactly. I always got great energy. Like, mm-hmm. every time you see me, I'm going to be the same. Mm-hmm. Like, when you see me, I'm going to be upbeat or I ain't going to be around your ass. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, if you approach me in a fucked up way, and anything happen to your ass, what's supposed to happen to your ass? <laughs> I don't mess with nobody. You feel me? all love with me. You get what I'm saying? And tear your ass, be playing crazy. <laughs> That's it though, but it's all it's all love, man. Then we grown as fuck. Like yeah. I'm not no jit. I ain't one of them. I'm not like a jit rapper. You get what I'm saying? I'm done. I'm grown. You feel me? Like I ain't, I'm I'm grown as man. I don't got even time for that bullshit. You feel me? Now, before we get up at your neck, now you did kind of like, even though it was a part of like the um the song and like in a clever way, it seemed like you was like kind of trying to shoot your shot a little bit, or was that just still just a playful, playful with certain things? Nah, it was nah, it, nah, nah. It, it, it was definitely playful, man. Like, nah, mellow rap. I definitely shot my shot. <laughs> yeah, mellow rap. You hear me? You heard that? You get what I'm saying? That was what I was talking that about. Was, yeah, like, like, yeah. Mellow rap. Yeah, I definitely shot my shot at her for sure. So, mellow, you heard that? Go holler at me, man. For sure. Yeah, man. Everything, everything, every kosher. Um, I'll say yeah, a few of them to, to, to the ones that single. Yeah, 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 yeah single, take it as yeah. a shot. I'm going <laughs> out, you know what I'm saying? But like, for like yeah. oil, you know what I'm saying? Like, oil, yeah. baby, that, 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 that's my homie. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Like, I know they count. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know all of them. I know Flo. Yeah. I know Nephew. I know mm-hmm. all them boys. All them boys, my people. You know what I'm saying? They care city people. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, you know, it's, all mutual, right. it's always a mutual respect, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, then she got a man. I never disrespect exactly. him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, for the, for the culture and for the music, you got to understand yeah. this shit entertainment a lot of times. Um, mm-hmm. Trina, it was all entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what I say about Trina? Uh, also about Trina, I say, um, uh, what I say about Ray? What did I say? I say, I'm trying to get some real some chicken chill with Trina, but I, what I say, I say something. I said something about Ray, Raymond. That's a that's a man. You know what I'm saying? But Ray, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Ray, Ray, know you, my boy. I seen Ray after that too. You know what I'm saying? I seen Ray a few times after that. Probably three, four times after that. Ray doing it all love. Yeah. Ray probably ain't even hear the fucking song, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Now, can't come today. Yeah. If you listen, if you listen to it surface level, you you may take it as somebody who's just saying they can't pull up on a girl or can't do this or like, don't have time. But I feel like it's really just. Telling people that like I don't have time for certain stuff anymore. Like my life is evolving. It's things are not what it used to be. Exactly. Kind of, kind of take us through that song a little bit. So I'm gonna keep it hundred. That's not about a girl at all. Yeah. Like that ain't about a girl. That's so. what I'm saying. If you listen to it, some, it a lot of people think I'm talking about a girl. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people, like I can just tell, like when they talk to me or like the way they vibe and it, like they think I'm talking about a girl. But like mm-hmm. I ain't talking about no girl. I was really, I was really, it really came from like um, like a family member. You get what I'm saying? Like um. At the end of the day, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'll say this right here. I come from a real black family, you know what I'm saying, that's got poor a poor background, you get what I'm saying? Like, especially my old boy side, like, we come from a poor background. So, like, for me to go play ball and rap and pull up and all type of whips and I change, like, I'm, like, the most on paper successful mm-hmm. person, like, that my family probably seen, mm-hmm. you get know what I'm saying? Which is cool, you get know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I get the most money. I do the most shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's mama's birthday, I'm the one buying her Chanel bag. You get what I'm saying? When watch calling need money, bro, man, the one giving. When somebody die, I'm going to get the money for the funeral. Like you get what I'm saying? Like which is no problem with that at all. Like that's what God put me in a position to do. Yeah. Like, right. When it's run a bit, oh my brother, you, all right, I'm gonna get a food truck. All right, bro, you run it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now my brother got a form of income where he ain't gotta work. He don't gotta work, go work for nobody. This right. ah shit, my boy. Right. Like you get what I'm saying? So like shit, like able to do that. So like with that, with that shit come with a lot. Mm-hmm. So that shit come with. A Time motherfucker man. abusing it yeah, and entitlement. entitlement from family. Cause get what? Of course you are gonna be entitled. We came up together. Yeah, yeah. Like you, yeah. my people. Like yeah, I know that. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, so it's like 
at the end of the day, they don't understand. They don't understand that you always ask me for shit. It's fifty of y'all always ask me for shit. Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying. You motherfucker don't know. Like damn, cub boy. Let, let me get five hundred, boy. Let me let me hold a thousand. Hey, boy, I got you. Knowing you ain't about to pay me yeah, back. Yeah. I ain't never in my life had a nigga from my family pay me back. Yeah. Which I don't want it back. But like a motherfucker gonna always say I'm gonna pay you back. Listen, if a motherfucker tell me that, I definitely ain't giving it to him. Yeah, First of all, I don't give out shit no more. Like, that shit over with. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But like, unless it's like my mom or my sister or some yeah. shit like that. But like, it's just like motherfucker just abusing. Like like a motherfucker got mad at me. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying, man? I ain't never told a motherfucker no in years. Hmm. Literally, I'm talking, I probably ain't tell a motherfucker no from the day I got in the league to mm. 2020. Mm. First no. So that's about three, four years of yes. saying yeah every time. And if and, 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 and like I'm talking about, and, 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 and a lot of times it, 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 that shit went from, oh, you want? Oh, let me get 500. All right, man. Look, I could give you 350. You gonna have to come up with the other, mm. the other 150, man, man. You get what I'm saying? Like it went to that before I even start saying Say no. no. So it was yeah. like at first that shit. Was, let me get 500 here because. I had survivor's guilt. Mm-hmm. I made it out. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I had, yeah. like I really yeah. know what that shit feel like. Like, damn, I made it out, and it was almost like, it was almost like, damn, should I say no? Like, am I even right for saying no? But then that shit got to once I got grown and like once I stopped playing ball and like got in the real world and started like making my own money, like not getting paid for them. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh that shit got like, all right, the foot. I won't say football money easy, but it's so much money, and I'm just playing football. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like this sh- I'm getting easy money, like. You get what I'm saying? This shit almost like I'm scamming almost. Yeah, it's like yeah. I'm waking up and going to play football and I'm getting so much money. money yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's unbelievable to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? But it's like, that shit got to the point where like motherfucker got mad at me for, for me being like, man, nah, man, I can't do that shit right now. Just because you a building. Like, of course, nigga, of course I got $100. What the fuck is $100? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I could give you that shit a lot. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, <laughs> it ain't that ain't the point. Yeah. Like, why you keep coming and asking the nigga fool? You don't, you don't, like, from, if I was you, I would know that's wrong. Yeah. So why you don't know that's wrong? You get what I'm saying? Nah, you abusing it. You feel me? You taking that shit. You taking that nigga kind of for witness. Knowing I love you. Knowing you can take advantage because you know, like, when I love you, I love you. Like, you my family. Like, there's a lot of shit I'm going to do for you. You get what I'm saying? So, like, I'm oh, fucking taking advantage of me. So, get what? I can't come, come today. today. Yeah. Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's real. That's real. Now, you, you mentioned um, you got the food truck. It's not uh, Howard's Kitchen where you got, like, urban food. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you got, like, Donut, the, mm-hmm. uh, dessert, no. type of thing. You say you do that with your brother? Yeah, my brother. So that's where that idea came from. Just start want to start to do something or yeah, my brother a chef. Oh, okay. Like he went to culinary art school, oh. worked in kitchens forever. You get what I'm saying? So like it was like that's been a goal. Like when I was in the league, you get what I'm saying? Like, boy, we gonna get a food truck one day and we gonna turn that shit to a restaurant. Like we gonna do that shit. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But it was more like me being a ball player and how I'm wired. I'm real wired on like I gotta see if you serious. I know I'm serious. Like, what I do, I'm, I get up every day, I grind, ooh, whatever I'm going to do. When I do music, I'm going to get up. Like, I know when somebody's serious about something. Mm-hmm. So, like, if somebody just start rapping, oh, I want a feature from you. All right, I got you. I'm going to get you as a feature in three years. When your ass going to be rapping still? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. your ass getting a hundred, uh, only a 1,000 views on your video on YouTube? Is you going to keep doing? Yeah, is you going to yeah, keep yeah, going yeah. and see this shit through? Okay, now you serious. I do it with you. Like, with my brother, like, I feel like he's that one serious. Like, you do cookouts on weekends, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might cook and post it on, oh, this the menu, and then you won't, you won't do that shit for a couple months. Yeah, Your ass ain't like that yeah, serious. You're not ready. But, but but maybe you probably is ready, because people got a life. It's true. You get what I'm saying? But get what? Your ass ain't ready. Priorities. You got to Yeah, like, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like, you ain't, you ain't something, you ain't there yet. But once I, once I, I seen it click, though. I seen him, like, get dead ass serious. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's serious. Yeah. It's time to go get that truck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause, like, what, like I don't know. I, I believe. I, I I I don't believe in going to business by yourself. Mm. Like I don't believe in that. Like that's just me. Mm. You can. I have did it before, but I don't believe in that. Like, I believe in going to business with a partner. Like that care about that shit is just as much as you. You know what I'm saying? Cause two people way better than one. Yeah, one that's, yeah. that's facts. That's facts. That's right. And how has it been? Cause I know sometimes when getting in that industry it can kind of like be a little rocky, but it seems like y'all doing great. Yeah. But like people don't see always behind the scenes. But how has it been so far? Man, I'm not gonna even lie to you, man. That shit been great, man, as of late. You know what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. sure, man. That shit a good business. But, you know, the business run how you treat it. True. You just got to be organized. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the shit they don't teach us. Like, yeah, it's got to do your taxes. You got to do your mm-hmm. bookkeeping. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your meetings every day. You got to have your staff meetings. You know what I'm saying? You got to put a board on a truck for reminders. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have team meetings every day. Like, mm-hmm. hey, 11, 8, 11 a.m. meeting, y'all. Let's jump on the FaceTime. Mm-hmm. The whole the content person in there. My brother in there. You know what I'm saying? The assistant in there. Like, so it's just like building that team. It's just like football. Yeah, yeah. I take it like football. Like you know, you used to go, you go, 
go to morning meetings. Morning, morning meetings. They're yeah, gonna yeah. tell your ass what we were, what the focus is, what we going on. You get what I'm saying? So I, hey, hey, our OBs numbers down, y'all. Look, this our OBs right. We need to get it bad. We at two point two. Need to be at two point five. This is mm. the focus for the day. Like you get what I'm saying? Okay. Hey, um. You get what I'm saying? Like, you feel little shit. You get what I'm saying? Oh, the food need to come out faster. So, look, we're going to work on a 10 minutes. Like, it need to come out before 10 minutes. So, we're going to set timers. And everybody working together and, like, mm-hmm. not like, not like telling them what to do. Yeah, we're like, working together. To That's yeah, yeah. more like, this is the goal. This is this the goal. goal. And, yeah, yeah. and guess what? What y'all think? You feel Feedback. me? Like, I don't think I'm the boss. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, my brother, the boss. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm the investor. Like, I'm the yeah. investor. I'm the investor and I'm the, and I'm the face. Yeah, my yeah, brother yeah. is the boss. He handled all the under everyday operations. Shit, like there's a lot of shit that go on in the truck that I don't know about. This shit break on the truck. I won't never know. It won't never get to me. Yeah, because the system is built to this shit come to me when it's in real trouble. Got, yeah, 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 You get what I'm saying? I don't need to be worried about that little shit. Like you get what I'm saying? I got a million shit going on. You get what I'm saying? Like that's I true. put y'all in place to handle that. Like that's what I say. Like fool, you buy a dog, let that bitch bark. Mm-hmm. Don't be trying to bar for it. Like you feel me? I let my brother do his thing, my boy. You getting paid salary as a real chef, how a real chef supposed to get paid. Your ass ain't getting no minimum wage. You get what I'm saying? So I expect whoop de whoop from you, man. If if we on the same page, we're gonna go to the moon. So I just yeah. it's about how you run that shit. But yeah. I say like when it first first started, when I first started, I could really say like it was tough. Yeah. It was tough. Like I wasn't really saying no money. Like like I was like paying the bills, paying my workers, and like sometimes, you know, sometimes I won't make no money. And like that's all I want people to know, like about business. That's how that shit go. Yeah, that's how it goes. Like, it's gonna be a lot of times like something might break, this might happen, yes, this might happen. Sir. Like, nigga, I could tell you so much shit that that happened that you can't even plan for. Yeah. Like you can't plan for you cut the light on, on the truck at night and termites come out of nowhere, go in all the food. Yeah. You can't you can't control the fucking power source, fuck up. You can't control when it ran for five days straight. Mm-hmm. Everything flooded Thundering. Out. Nigga, yeah, I gotta shut down for a week. Ain't nobody. But they coming. still gotta get paid. Mm. The rent still gotta get paid. The staff still got to get paid. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, y'all bought food with that with, with the business credit card. That shit got to get paid for the end of the month. So you can keep your credit good with the business. Like, it's just a bunch of shit. But I say now, as it's progressing, I mean, that shit smooth selling. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I can say, like, to get it to this point where it's at now, it's been working. And we still working. And sure. shit, we, you know, we, we, we want to go further and further. But I can say now is, like, the time where I can say, Okay, boy, this shit working. You know what I'm saying? This shit working. I love this shit. Like, I'm going to get another one. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to turn this shit to a restaurant. <laughs> like, sure. like, I'm at that point. Like, you feel me? For sure. It's great you say that because literally today, I'm, I was listening to the owner of Tur- uh, Turkey Leg Hut. Mm-hmm. Lynn, he was talking about when they first started a food truck. For the first year and a half, they have to pay every day. Employees have to pay for this, pay for that. And they didn't make a dime. Make a dime. But they popular out the world, but they're not making a dime. Yeah, that's how I go. Yeah, yeah. Because what? You know, like, popularity, you got to think, right? It's shit like a fire. Yeah. It just takes time to spread. Yeah. Like this, the fight, the fight, because guess what? As long as that truck right there, and y'all pushing our content, mm-hmm. and y'all consistently, and y'all food is actually good, yeah. it just takes time. Because guess what? One person gonna come. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now they gonna like it. They gonna come back. Two people gonna come. Yeah. They gonna tell somebody. So it just takes time for the numbers to, to grow. To grow. You know what I mean? By the time you on your third, or fourth year, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. over with. Yeah, you, yeah, know yeah. you probably got literally four thousand loyal customers that's gonna come every week. Every week, yeah. Because they love this shit that much, or mm-hmm. every month. If you got four thousand customers coming every month. What you think that? What you think that return look like? Nice. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, before we wrap up, what does Tracy have coming for the rest of the year? Like, what can they expect? Do you got a project you're working on? Project for sure. Project. Yeah, I can say you could. Y'all can expect a few more singles. A project. Mm-hmm. Just a bunch of content. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just fell in love with content. Like, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Like, I just fell in love with creating content. Like. With the food shit, with the music, and like I ain't gonna even lie, like I've been like I won't say I've been vibing on music, but like it gets a little vibe, but like, you know, no, not drop music videos as often. Yeah, like like you that, know what I'm saying, and I and I and I say that because like um at the end of the day, like it's so much going on, mm-hmm. and I can say like with music, I'm not all the way um sit, like no, I'm in, no, I'm definitely invested. Okay. You know what I'm saying, like for sure, for sure, but like um. I don't know. I'm still building that team around me. You know what I'm saying? Like the right team. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I had teams around me where I work with. You know what I'm saying? Stop working with because due to certain reasons. You know what I'm saying? But like, just I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like the thing I'm missing is like, I feel like I'm missing um, like a powerhouse team. Like I feel like I'm the type of artist that I need to go somewhere that's already pumping. Like 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 if I was an athlete, I should go to Alabama. Like they're already going to win the national championship. That's why I need to go. I don't need to be going to JUCO to get ready. I'm already ready. Okay. I'm already. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no development. That engine behind. Yeah, you. I need an engine. I don't need no yeah. art of development. I'm past that shit. And I'm not saying that to be 
no type of way. Like I played ball, so that shit gave me how to talk in interviews. It gave me how to, I don't need no development. Mm-hmm. I don't need to like I don't. I'm not a nigga that got beef going on, and I don't need none of that. You get what I'm saying? I need a mic. Mm-hmm. Put me in the studio with anybody. Like we gonna have fun. We gonna create great music. You get what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I just need a team. I need a, a powerful team that's already running and going. So I can just fall up in the mix and get going. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't need no I feel like I've been having a team that's like they figuring that shit out too. I don't uh, need nobody yeah. figuring that shit out. I don't like when it comes to music, I don't have the answer. You get what I'm saying? I'm still figuring this all I know is I know how to make great music and drop it and people love it. Gotcha. I know how to run some ads, I know how to do the little shit. But as far as like I don't got no manager that's plugged. I don't got no manager that can walk me to Empire. Mm. I don't got no a rep, or I ain't got no A and R behind me that's go walk me into Republic. Like I don't got that. You get what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm missing. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not ashamed to say that. You get what I'm saying? But I know, like, well, when it comes to like making a song, like you feel, I can get in there with the best of the best. But I feel like that's what I'm missing when it comes to music. You get what I'm saying? You feel that, me, that's bro? the line that stuck out to me actually. That when he was like Florida, um, pretty much saying, "Bring me on board. I don't need the investment." Yeah, like yeah. real shit. Like, you like, you like, I, like, they, they, like, I'm dead ass. Yeah. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, y'all from like, Kansas City? Come get me. But yeah, yeah. Try, right. I already got a hundred. I already got a hundred k. I already got a hundred k, man, man. Like it's a real <laughs> yeah, yeah. fact. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't need no advance. Like, I feel like I don't need no advance. I spend my own money. Yeah. I put my own money behind me. Just stand behind me. You stand know what I'm saying? Me. Like give me the connects just though. Stand beside me. Yeah. Give me the connects. We could break down the splits. I, how, like what you want to get paid? Like what percentage you want out of this shit? Let's be fair. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring my lawyer. I'll bring your lawyer. You gonna figure this shit Come out? You know what I'm saying? But like I don't. Y'all don't gotta give me a million. You don't gotta give me no five hundred, seven fifty advance. I will pay this shit myself. You get what I'm saying? I will pay this shit with the money that I'm making from these other avenues. You get what I'm saying? So I could see my money for real. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, real business, man, shit. Like, I'm able to do that. You get what I'm saying? Now, before we end, let the people know where they can find you at, everything you got going on. Um, I say y'all definitely come to Howard's, man. Howard's Kitchen. Howard's Kitchen. 4006 State Road 7 South. You get what I'm saying? Miramar, Florida. 33023. Y'all pull up to Howard's, (laughs) man. For sure. Come get some food. Um... So much going on, man. Y'all definitely listen to the music. You can find me anywhere. Tracy Supreme, no E, and Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, Supreme on all platforms. TikTok, Instagram. I don't got no Twitter. You get what I'm saying? Working on that. You get what I'm saying? But um, that's where y'all can find me at, man. And, um, Y'all just follow the journey, man. We floating. Well, it's Steph. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's Kyle the Kid, Mega the Boy, Tracy Supreme. And we out. Yo. Yeah, you did.